2009 Board of Selectmen meeting. Um, I need a motion for a clerk pro tem for the evening. I would move to have Janice the clerk for the evening. <clears throat> Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? <laughs> Abstain. Um, thank you. Uh, before we get to um, citizens' participation and other matters on the agenda, I would like to um, publicly introduce our interim police chief, uh, who I'd like to bring up and have a brief discussion with. I promised I'd get him out of here on time. He's got, obviously, plenty on his plate. And um, so I'd like to, if the board will allow me. Mm -hmm. Good evening, chief. How are you? Good. Um, <clears throat> well, first of all, obviously, uh, welcome aboard. I'd like to um, extend, on behalf of the board, our warm welcome to the town of Wareham, to you. Um, I, I'm personally grateful that you're here. I, I've had an opportunity to uh, look at your resume, and, and as you know, we've had a chance to sit down and talk, and I'm quite impressed with your credentials and your history and your experience, and uh, I, I'm looking, and I feel the board is looking forward to working with you. Um, if you could, perhaps you could just Give us a brief introduction uh, publicly into your background and your history, and and what you uh, what you perceive as your your plans, and uh, let the community know what uh, what you see as the opportunities. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, members of the board of selectmen, members of the community, President. Um, first of all, it's an absolute honor for me to be here this evening um, as your interim police chief. Um, I, uh, I, have, I feel as though I've been extremely blessed in this respect. I have already had an opportunity to meet so many members of the community through the Cape Verdean festival that took place one day, to the men and women of the department I've been working with on a regular basis. I will not squander this opportunity. I will make sure that when the time comes that I leave the town of Wareham, no matter if it's a few months or a year, until you have chosen a new police chief, that I will make sure that I dedicate the time and energy that you people need to make sure that I lead the Wareham Police Department in the right direction. I have spent a lot of time talking to the men and women of the department, and I made sure that those of them in command positions realize that I will, in fact, be having a staff meeting shortly. But just in my initial assessment of the Wareham Police Department, I find a group of hardworking, dedicated men and women who put the interest of the community and its residents first. I find that the men and women of the department who are extremely busy, more so than I could have imagined when I first came here, are extremely busy and working under difficult circumstances, that they have maintained a positive attitude, that even flying in the face of different controversies that have developed over the last few months or year, that they have maintained their work ethic and their professionalism and the ability to get the job done. There's a lot to be said in that. And I know that over the course of the last several months, much of what has taken place has only been a communications issue. On all fronts, in many different facets, I have been watching closely over the course of the last couple of months and speaking to a lot of people. It is my desire to step forward in the leadership role for the Wareham Police Department in an effort to bridge some of those gaps in an effort to prepare the department for their new leadership when you, the appointing authority, make that decision and move forward. With me, I bring a lot of experience. The experience I bring is over 32 years of law enforcement professional service. I received my bachelor's and master's degree from Northeastern University College of Criminal Justice. The College of Criminal Justice prepared me for a leadership role in planning in law enforcement activities. My emphasis was on planning. During the course of my time at Northeastern, in my first few years at the North Andover Police Department, I quickly took on a leadership role. I was sergeant at the age of 26, lieutenant at 27, and lucky enough to be named chief at age 30. During that time frame, being in the right place at the right time, and taking advantage of every opportunity that was afforded to me, I was able to move the department on to a high level of service to the community, build a relationship with the community, members of the Board of Selectmen, and the police department staff 
that has kept it at that high excellence to make sure the community is well aware that the North Anvil Police Department strives to provide the best possible police service to the community on a regular basis. We have gained a great reputation in that regard. In addition to my work with the North Anvil Police Department, I've also been lucky enough to have served as President of the Massachusetts Chiefs of Police Association, President of the Northeastern Massachusetts Law Enforcement Council. I sit on the board of directors of many civic groups, as well as I work with the International Association of Chiefs of Police on different um, committees that they have, including the Rules Committee, as well as Homeland Security Committee. So I've been honored to be placed in some of these positions. I will bring the experience that I've had with the Police Department, with the Northeastern Massachusetts Law Enforcement Council, where I lead a group of 160 officers, 40 of which are SWAT team members covering 50 cities and towns which I am leaving and I have offered my letter of resignation to that group for this opportunity. But I will bring to this community a level of professionalism and a level of preparedness that no matter what comes my way, I feel, I feel confident that I can work on it and nothing will shatter my being as I deal with any problems that are brought to my attention. I just want to point out one thing. I had the, uh, I had the uh, opportunity to sit with four members of your department today in a class. We attended a class put on by Lieutenant Colonel Grossman um, dealing with issues of serious nature for police officers. And these four officers of your department were there and conduct themselves in a very professional manner. I have already leaned on several of them to take over a training role. The areas I am going to focus on with this department is training, and I can't emphasize that enough. There is definitely a void there. Training, policy and procedure development. I am going to lean on the department to make sure that we find out what equipment needs are there, keeping in mind that there are budget problems, as in every other community, so we don't squander the valuable resources we have. But the emphasis is going to be on training, policy development, equipment, and also the staff and the structure of the Wareham Police Department. I plan on coming before the Board of Selectmen at some point in the future, hopefully in October, with a PowerPoint presentation to show you exactly what I have found, in my opinion, the direction the Wareham Police Department should go into. I look forward to continuously working with you. I make myself available um, to all members of the community. I'm only a phone call or an e email away. I will make sure that I will, in fact, answer all calls. I will deal with whatever issue, no matter how difficult it may seem. I just ask that we continue, and I've been pledged by members of the Board of Selectmen in a sincere fashion, and I very much appreciate that, that you will work with me to make sure that we move the department forward. The police officers are doing the best job they possibly can under dangerous situations. I was just on a gun call with them a few days ago where they took a gun off of a guy who was in fact threatening a woman with it. The men and women of that department say, face difficult circumstances every day. They walk into danger every day. Every call they go on is a call that there is a gun present even if it is their own and somebody may have the will and desire to take it off them. It's a dangerous job. It's a job that most people don't want. Sometimes you can ask, why is it that police officers walk into danger when everybody goes away from it? And you ask, why would they do that? What's wrong with them? I simply reverse that and say, what is right with them? It's a noble profession, a noble cause, and I look forward to working with each and every one of you.